Welcome back, anybody. As you can see, I've got a, a big pile of chainsaw chains. They're uh, all in need of being sharpened. And uh, as you might be able to see on here, um, <laughs> we have this. I don't know if you've had that issue yourself, but I have it all the time. And it's a pain in the butt to keep these things straight because they always seem to tie themselves in a knot. Um, and if you can get one that's not in a knot, it's a very unusual occurrence. And sometimes if you're really lucky, you can get one that's like this, tied in two or three knots. And it's, again, a royal pain in the butt. So what I have here is a chain locker. And uh, this was, um, this is not an endorsed commercial. It is a commercial in a sense that I want you to see these things because they're really cool, but it's not a paid endorsement because I'm not being paid. Although I did not buy these units, um, it was a gift, believe it or not. As a matter of fact, I have two of them. We have a gray one and an orange one. My plan is to put the sharp ones maybe in the orange and the dull ones in the gray. But anyway, again, I... Um, this is not paid. Somebody gave these to me, and uh, it was a subscriber that bought them and sent them to me free of charge. Um, no strings attached. And I know the, uh, the question that you got uh, about this, and it's not who did it. It's not where did they do it and why did they do it. The question you all have is, why didn't you think of sending me something also? And my answer to that is, I don't know. I can't figure out why you wouldn't want to send me something. I'm such a charming individual. Uh, at any rate, going forward and not to whine the fact that you haven't sent me anything for a gift, these things uh, are pretty gr good. I'm not going to put a sharp one in here because I don't really have one, but I've got the dull one here. And the nice thing is I should be able to store them in here. These are made in the US of A, which is great. Uh, they take up to a 20-inch chain, which is what I've got here. And someplace around here, I've got a 16 um, or an 18-inch chain for my battery-operated unit. But if you take a look at these stupid things, I don't know if you have the ability to tie these in a knot, but I do. Um, and it is a pain in the neck. Look at that. Once you get them untied, it's a great idea if you can keep them untied. But again, this is always something that I have to put up with, and it is, very, to me anyway, very frustrating because every time I try to unknot it, it just makes it worse. So, and I'm sure that there's going to be some comments, maybe one, from somebody that says, oh, all you have to do is this or that to untie them, unknot them. Um, but I've never had much luck. So, anyway. These, again, are made in the USA. They've got different size uh, holders in there. And um, I'm definitely going to be using these, as you can see that I'm using right now, because I haven't had the opportunity to, uh, to do anything with it. But uh, the big problem I have, in addition to these things getting all knotted up, is the fact of, A, remembering where they are, and B, if I can remember where they are, and I can find them, is finding out which one is sharp and which one isn't sharp. But now I'll know that if it's in the gray one, it's not sharp. Unfortunately, they're all not sharp. So we'll just have to either spend a lot of time doing this, which I do not have a sharpener, or take it over to my local chainsaw place and have them sharpen them for whatever they charge to sharpen blades or chains. Blades or chains, either way. So here we go. Got another knot. And you know how you've seen those commercials where somebody has something and it doesn't work and they're all frustrated because it doesn't work and all they have to do to make it work is just buy the product that they're trying to sell to make these things work. Now, there's the problem, but I'm not trying to make you buy anything. But FYI, this is, again, chain locker. Um, proudly made in the USA, and uh, again, I think it's a fantastic piece.
piece of equipment and uh, I'm definitely going to be using it. As you can see, I've got the stupid thing full already and I haven't even had a chance to do anything with it. You know what? And we're not going to do that one. It won't fit in there anyway. Do that. There we go. Ready to go. Uh, again, chain locker. Not endorsed. I'm not getting a dime other than I get these co really cool chain lockers myself that I can use. And um, look them up online. Chain locker. Uh, let's see. Do we have a website? Chainlockerusa.com. There you go. Thank you very much. And uh, to the anonymous subscriber, uh, I won't mention your name because everybody will be calling you saying, hey, I want one too. Uh, thank you very much. And um, for those of you who did not send me anything, you do have an opportunity between now and Christmas. So thank you very much. And um, I'll be looking in the mail. Bye-bye.